Okay, so we got some glass grinding to do today. I've got it set up right now. Got some water we're gonna put inside uh, for our grinding. And yesterday we had left off with this glass piece. Um, I had made the cuts and now we need to grind it to get it close or to get it to line up uh, with the markers and what it needs to be. So I wanted to do that first to do the grinding to make sure that um, I don't mess anything up with this piece. Uh, it's very crucial that we get this piece correct. The rest of the other pieces that go uh, with this will be a lot easier. So I just wanna make sure that this uh, will be finished and cleaned up. Um, it's gonna look exactly what we want it to. And so if I can do that with the grinder, grind it down safely, um, then we'll move on to doing the rest of the pieces and doing the glass cutting of a couple more of those pieces that go with this. Um, if you're joining me just now, uh, you didn't see the video yesterday, we've been working on this project, or started this project, this picture frame project. Um, it is based off of a picture from a drawing from my friend. And so I wanted to frame this up. And so just to kind of get an idea, um, instead of getting a regular glass sheet and, and doing the rectangle, I added, you know, a little bit of a fun special thing here. So it's going to be this clear piece on the bottom and then we will have different colors, um, maybe like blue, probably blue glass on here um, to add to the frame. So I thought that'd be kind of fun to do something different than a regular glass picture frame. So uh, we're gonna finish that, the, the grinding, and then we'll do the pieces. So let's get started. And um, first, let me put this away so we don't ruin it. All right, so the water goes into the grinder. Um, if you're looking at it right now, we'll change it to the top view here, but the water needs to be filled up in the bay here. And what it does is when we go into the grinding, we're gonna take this sponge that comes with, uh, it's pretty dried up. It's been sitting for a very long time. Um, so, you know, kind of wet the sponge there. But what the sponge will do is it will absorb the water into the sponge and then that sponge will be touching this uh, grinding bit. And so as it's spinning, it's touching the bit and so it's cleaning off um, the residue, every the glass that gets picked up from um, getting stuck on the grinder bit. And so that sponge will clean it off and that's uh, the idea of it. So it'll, we just kind of have to let it sit kind of still trying to absorb there's like a lot of um, it's not the cleanest sponge but this sponge right here is still usable I have not really changed it up you can get new ones they have you know they sell new ones you can even just you know cut your own sponge you don't have to go get a new one really it's just a regular sponge but um, so this kind of sits in you know, this slot right here. And if we go to, let's see what, what is keeping all this stuff from going down. <laughs> it's a big mess right now. Okay. I guess I can't, uh, upside down. Okay. So that sits there, right there. And I kind of just move the sponge to like push it off to the side somehow, trap it. So when you turn it on, you know, the bit is just rubbing on the sponge. That's what you want. You want it to just move and spin freely. Um, and it will do that. It'll just kind of like brush on the sponge. So we're good with that. Um, another thing is, let's see if I have this here. Okay. So I've got some coolant. This one happens to be from Inland. Um, so coolant is used, I guess there's, there's a thing here where some people use it consistently 
um, you'll put the coolant in the water. So this one says add two capfuls to the water reservoir. So we can do that and add it into the water and that will, you know, give it like an extra lubrication to the water, to the sponge. And so it would uh, clean off the bit and also just having this coolant uh, that would cool down the grinding bit. Now, some people swear by it. Some people don't even use it ever. Um, so if you don't have it, don't feel like you need to go out and get it. There are people that, that um, you know, have gone through their whole lives never using coolant and it's been totally fine. There are people that say, use the coolant, it's gonna save the bit, it's gonna extend the life of it. That's what they make it for. Um, it's your choice, up to you, what you wanna do with the coolant. If you have it, might as well use it. I have it here, got this from Inland, so I'm just gonna use it, um, I guess, it wouldn't hurt, but yeah, there's debates on whether you need or not need the coolant. So kind of ridiculous anyways. Um, Cause if you think about it, the coolant gets drawn up. The idea is, you know, the lubrication of the bit. How does it get there? It gets there by the sponge. So the lubricant has to, or the coolant has to be mixed in with the water, absorbed into the sponge. And then at that point, it has to also touch the diamond bit to clean it off. And then that's supposed to cool things down. Two capfuls seems like it's not gonna get up to the sponge and do its job. Um, you know, I don't know. I'm not even sure what to think of this stuff, but um, it is a little bit like there's, there's um, it, it's not just regular water. I hope it's not, it's something um, like a solution that they've made. And so, um, I don't know, I've used it before. I put it in normally when we're doing like long grinding sessions. Um, and I would do that knowing if I'm gonna be sitting there grinding for a long time, like this piece will probably do it for a long time. So I wanna put some coolant in it. Otherwise, normally I don't put anything in, just a quick, um, grind you know with the glass pieces and then i'm done and it's been totally fine so um yeah it's up to you if whatever you want to do with it but since i have it here i am going to use it so two capfuls and we're just going to add it straight into the bay okay and then that should like mix and hopefully get absorbed up into the sponge however that works out. Um, okay, next thing we need to make sure is you've got some safety glasses. Obviously, we're working with um, glass particles and dust and things and spinning bits and glass that could come up and get you. So very important thing to do. I also have this thing here. It's a, uh, man, it's like super dusty. <laughs> Sorry, it's been a while since I've, actually used any of these um, machines and stuff. I haven't been doing a lot of work, you know. So this one is a magnifier. I like that it's a magnifier um, and it gets attached to my, to the base here. There's like a, oh, it's filthy, what the heck? Okay, I just need to make sure this looks good so you guys are like, you can see through the camera. So let's make sure, clean it off a little bit here. Um, all right, that's looking much better. But yeah, so this one has a, it's a shield. So first it protects you, you know, just from having this sit right above you when you're looking at it. But I like the fact that it is a shield um, and a magnifier so when you look through it you can see more of like you, the piece that you're working on seriously this isn't um, cleaning off that easily at all it's like uh, you know when you clean off mirrors and you get like smudges 
and then just keeps moving from spot to spot. It's kind of kind of what I'm feeling right now. But the worst part is that this is on video and recording, so you have to witness um, what I'm going through, and I have to, you know, hopefully get through this and not be embarrassed. Okay, so there's a hole right there, right there to fix it in. Yeah, so you can kind of see on the screen there, um, it is the magnified part, a little bubbly area. Um, so that's it, let's get going on this. We'll grind the piece and hope for the best. Hope it doesn't break. I'm just gonna go real slow. And uh, so all this, you just touch it lightly, go back and forth and you'll kind of see it. But here we go, I'm gonna be grinding. So it's doing great. Um, there is, maybe you can see it here better or not at all down here. Well, it's, everything's clear, so can't really see much. Um, okay, what if I cover it right there? <laughs> it's super hard to see now. Get a visual on here. Okay, so, all right, so you can see better here. So it started grinding pretty good, getting close to that line. I actually made it to the tip, um, to the point there. So the marker looks like it's starting to come off a little bit. Uh, we need to make sure that we redraw the line or I think there's a few methods um, we can do Hopefully, try not to wipe this off right now, but um, there is, okay, let's first, before I lose the line, I wanna make sure that we can see it again. Okay. And then second, I think there's a way uh, we can keep the line on. That's by, uh, using a glue stick. I think I remember doing this at some point. Um, somebody giving me that advice. And I think it worked out. You're just putting like a coating, you know, like a covering on it. So that water and the coolant, whatever, it wouldn't, um, you know, rub it off. Cause it's gonna spin and push things on the glass and so you're, you'll risk taking off the marker. And once you can't see anything, then you're just kind of guessing. So hopefully this works, um, but just a regular glue stick. Um, okay. So, another thing I totally forgot. You wanna wear sleeves. You wanna make sure you have sleeves that are, um, I don't know if I should use this one. It's kind of a, not a work jacket. I'm gonna go change, cause I don't wanna get this on my regular jacket and then bring it, in, and bring it home. So whatever you're doing, whatever you're wearing, kind of consider it like a work 
work clothes, especially if you're getting the glass bits right now. All these shavings are going to come off and it's going to get on your arms. So if you have no, no sleeves, you're going to feel this itch. You're, you'll get glass on your arms, arm hairs and everything here. So I would suggest always putting sleeves on when you're doing grinding. Um, but I want to change this and get some old work clothes on it. So uh, be right back. Okay. All right, so got good coverage, and I don't care if I get glass bits on that. Safety glasses. Okay. All right, let's keep going. Getting a little bit nervous going closer to this tip right here. Feel like it could break any moment. Um. <laughs>
So here's what it looks like. Okay, yeah, that glue worked. The glue stick was nice. I could see the line still. Um, yeah, got the whole curve. I don't know how perfect it is. Um, I mean, we can kind of fix it a little bit here and there. This point right here is uh, very fragile. I don't even know if we need it to go all the way up to that, but I think I'm gonna leave it until we cut the next piece, match it up and see, uh, uh, match it up and see if that uh, it'll fit. So continue the next side, this other dip, and we're pretty much, we're pretty much done. Um, yeah, grinding. It's not, it's not so bad. Okay, hold on. <laughs> what is going on here? Um, okay, you see that right there? Uh, blood. Um, that's just me handling the glass. Um, 
hope it's not a big cut. Yeah, seriously, I, I don't know what... I don't feel it. Normally you don't when you cut glass, but I see it. Looks like a, it's like a minor cut. Blood doesn't look good though, right? Um, so you'll probably cut yourself. It's freaking red. <laughs> that's crazy. Um, oh, that's kind of gross. All right, I will. I'm going to have to go clean off and get some bandage on this. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. Looks like it kind of healed itself. All right, looks pretty good. Maybe. Yeah, there's no blood right now. That's crazy. Um, it just closed off. Like, let it sit for a little bit. And we won't get any blood on this, hopefully. Uh, here. Um, okay, maybe I could continue on seeping out a little bit. Yeah, we're almost done. <laughs> I remember somebody saying keep like a set of safety first aid stuff around here near your shop probably a good idea a couple of strips you can quickly bandage yourself up um, I don't want to go back in the house right now to do this so yeah we're still good <laughs> Last, last curve right here. So close. Now it's bleeding a lot more. Um, <laughs> all right, all right. I will go back in the house and get a band aid. So be right back. All right, back. Still kind of bleeding, but not so bad. <laughs> all the all the blood <laughs> um, wow look wow points are sharp looks good um, we'll have to determine how it fits when we cut the next glass pieces so I'm good with that might need to bring it back the grinder back later on but for now 
um, I'll clean this off, clean this up, and uh, we can start on the next glass pieces. Um, although, actually I'm not even sure if that's gonna work. Um, yeah, actually that's uh, probably not gonna work. I, I got things that I have to do today and my son is at home uh, he is, has a little cold, so we're not putting him at school today. Um, so he's, he's at home right now. Um, so I can't really, I guess I can't really extend this time. Um, so I'll have to call it. This is all we got today. Got to grind this. Looks cool. Um, and then we'll finish off getting these other pieces cut, matching them up. See how it looks. All right, that's it. Sorry, thanks.